The original Green Ranger is arguably the most popular ranger of all time. He is certainly my favourite if you haven't already guessed. The man behind the helmet, Tommy Oliver, of course went on to be multiple different rangers. Mighty Morphin White, Zeo Red, Turbo Red and Dino Thunder Black. But this video is not about Tommy's story, it's purely about the Green Ranger. We will more than likely cover his other ranger forms in future videos, as that would be far too much to put into one. I really hope you enjoy this one, as I've been looking forward to making it for a while. Let's get into it. So very little is known about Tommy's early life. We know that he was adopted and that he had a brother named David, but he would not meet his brother until much later into his life. It was in his teens that Tommy and his family moved to Angel Grove. He was already a very skilled and formidable martial artist, and his first introduction to the people that would later become his ranger teammates was through a martial arts tournament. He was the new kid, showing off his impressive kicks and acrobatics, getting into his opponent, Jason's head. Despite Jason being referred to as Angel Grove's finest by the announcer, the fight ended in a tie. It was enough to earn a mutual respect between the two fighters, both recognising the other's skill as a martial artist. Tommy also caught the eye of Kimberly when he scared away school bullies Bulk and Skull when they began to harass Kim near her locker. It didn't take long before Kimberly invited Tommy to hang out with her and her friends. However, Jason and Kimberly were not the only ones that had taken notice of Tommy's desirable attributes. Rita Repulsa had also seen his potential during his fight with Jason. She had been keeping her sixth power coin a secret, waiting for the right opportunity to use it. She decided that now was that time, so she cast a spell on Tommy, and using the sixth coin, the dragon coin, she turned Tommy into the evil Green Ranger. The Green Ranger's first action was to head straight to the command centre, which he was allowed to access due to the coin in his possession. He then uploaded a virus to Alpha 5's programming and put Zordon out of action. The Rangers attempted to fight him, but the Green Ranger swiftly defeated them. While under Rita's spell, Tommy was very rude to Kimberly and the others back in school, but at this point, they still did not make the connection that he may have had something to do with the mysterious Green Ranger. With the Rangers now at their most vulnerable, Rita decided that now was the time to attack. But first, Rita wanted to test Tommy. So she sent a group of putties to attack him, and after Tommy had defeated them without his powers, Rita gave him the Sword of Darkness, which not only enhanced his dark powers, but also acted as a catalyst of sorts for keeping him under her evil spell. She then had Tommy transport Jason into the Dark Dimension, where he faced Goldar. Tommy decided to take the honour of finishing off the Red Ranger from Goldar and face Jason himself, though Jason did manage to escape when the other Rangers teleported him out. A while later, Goldar grew and attacked Angel Grove. While the Rangers were distracted, defending the city, the Green Ranger took the opportunity to attempt to sabotage the command centre once more. Alpha placed him in some kind of stasis shield, but he was soon freed by Rita. He then joined Goldar and Scorpina in the fight against the Rangers. Now being outmatched and overwhelmed, their Megazord defeated, the Rangers retreated back to the command centre. It was here that Alpha 5 revealed to them that when the Green Ranger was in the stasis shield, his true identity had been revealed. Tommy Oliver. Now understanding the reason behind Tommy's strange behaviour, Kimberly decided to confront Tommy at the youth centre. But he told her that not only did he know the identities of all the Rangers, but that they would soon be destroyed. Using his dragon dagger that he recently received from Rita, he summoned his own Zord, the Dragon Zord. He intended to use the mighty Dragon Zord to destroy the rest of Angel Grove, but during this time, Alpha had re-established Zordon's link with this dimension and recovered the Megazord. This meant that the Rangers could take on the Dragon Zord, but this time not outnumbered, so they were able to defeat the Green Ranger's Zord. A fight then broke out on the ground between Jason and the Green Ranger, a rematch to the tournament, but this time with dire consequences. Tommy had the upper hand on Jason for the majority of the fight, demonstrating the true power of the Dragon Coin. However, Jason eventually turned the tables and managed to destroy the Sword of Darkness, which released Tommy from Rita's spell. After realising the chaos and destruction that he had caused, Tommy felt terrible, but the others assured him that it was Rita's doing and not his own. They offered him a place in the team, and after agreeing to Zordon's terms for being a ranger, he accepted, becoming the first ever sixth Power Ranger. 
Initially, Tommy started off as a bit of a loner. He would occasionally join in with the Rangers in some of their activities, but would often leave early to train and practice martial arts. But as the battles increased, Tommy became closer to the team and formed close friendships with them. He also had a crush on Kimberly and the two eventually began dating. Tommy's friendship with Jason took a little longer to develop, however. In the beginning, there was a sense of rivalry between them, as both were equally skilled martial artists. He constantly tried to show up Jason. Zordon was actually aware of the problem and sent the two on a mission to recover special blasters protected by the Zord called Titanus to defeat Rita's super putties. It was there that Tommy and Jason learned to work together. The two then formed a deep bond and began teaching martial arts together as well as competing together. Tommy took on a lot of Jason's leadership skills which would help him down the road ahead. Then one day while out walking with Kimberly, Tommy was attacked and captured by Goldar, then taken to Rita's Dark Dimension. Goldar revealed that the material that had once encased Tommy and turned him evil was actually some kind of magic wax, which was linked to his morphine powers. By turning the wax into a green candle, Rita was able to ensure that as the candle burned, his powers would slowly fade away. And when the candle finished burning out, she would reclaim his powers for good. And the candle would burn faster if Tommy was in its vicinity, so Rita had commanded Goldar to kidnap Tommy and take him to the dimension where the candle was kept. Then, during a fight with Goldar, Tommy managed to take Goldar's sword and send himself back to Earth. Rita responded by sending a shape-shifting Cyclops monster into the city. While the other rangers went to retrieve the candle, Tommy decided that he would fight the monster alone. Jason then went into the Dark Dimension to stop the candle from burning, but he was unable to do so due to Goldar's intervention. With Tommy using all of his strength to fight the monster, Jason and the rangers had to return to help him, but the green candle quickly burned out. Before all was lost, Zordon told Tommy to give his coin to another ranger with a strong link to the morphing grid to prevent Rita from getting his powers. Tommy chose to pass his dragon coin on to Jason. The Red Ranger was now able to draw upon the remnants of the Green Ranger powers to use the Dragon Shield in battle and also use the Dragon Dagger to summon the Dragon Zord. After saying his goodbyes to his teammates, Tommy assured Jason that it wasn't his fault for not retrieving the Green Candle, as he tried his best to do so. Even though Tommy was no longer the Green Ranger, he still managed to stay friends with the rest of the Rangers and maintained his relationship with Kimberly. In one of Rita's next evil plans, she kidnapped the parents of the Power Rangers, demanding their power coins in exchange for their safety. With no other choice, the Rangers eventually agreed. Though Jason handed over his Tyrannosaurus power coin, he still had the Dragon Coin. When Tommy came to the Youth Center and found the place deserted, he was immediately teleported to the Command Center and debriefed on the situation. He agreed to help, but with his powers completely gone, Tommy had to accept an enormous power boost from Zordon and became the Green Ranger once more. After fighting Goldar and retrieving the Dragon Dagger and the coins, he had received enough of a power boost to maintain his powers a little longer, even though there was a huge risk of them giving out at any moment, even during a battle. Tommy decided to remain an active Ranger while he could. Returning to the team, Tommy helped the Rangers in fighting various monsters, Though Zordon did caution him about his limited power supply, Tommy was always battle ready if called upon. He no longer kept a low profile and became a lot more involved with the Rangers, helping to unify the team. However, all this happiness was suddenly changed when a new villain, Lord Zed, emerged. Determined to succeed where Rita had failed, Zed swore that he would put an end to the Rangers once and for all. When the Dinozords appeared to be no match for Zed's power, Zordon changed them to become Thunderzords. With Tommy not having enough power for his own Thunderzord, Zed realized the Green Ranger was the team's weakest link and soon began to target him specifically. Before long, one of Zed's monsters named Turban Shell drained Tommy of some of his power. Zed had then kidnapped five teenagers and planned to turn them into the Dark Rangers. Tommy was the only one that was able to go and destroy the crystal that held his powers. He succeeded and used his powers for one last morph to destroy Turban Shell. Tommy was of course sad that the Green Ranger powers were truly gone forever, but he had known that this time would come eventually. To gain some perspective, he went to his uncle's cabin near the lake to spend the school break. Then despite a few future appearances through evil magic or eventually the Master Morpher, that is it for the story of the Green Power Ranger. I really hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you want to see the story continued with the full story of the White Ranger, then be sure to let me know in the comments down below. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more Power Rangers content. It really helps the channel out. 
Thank you so much for watching, my friends. May the power protect you, and I will see you next time on The Sixth Ranger.